Hi and welcome. I thought I'd show how to do a scrolling effect in Keynote uh, using a simple function called the magic move. So I made a basic setup here to demonstrate the effect. Let's see how it looks. Keynote is available on macOS devices and iOS devices for free. And it's a very powerful tool. It's also very reliable and easy to use. So I'm going to start a new project here and guide you through how you can do this effect. I will uh, select a simple default theme, just black background with simple text. I've also selected to use uh, 16 by 9 format and not 4 by 3. This is our first page, our first slide, so we can write something here and now we will prepare. So what you need is a good high resolution picture. I found a picture on, on my hard drive that I thought I could use. It's uh, a logic board from a computer that I repaired a while ago. So we will just uh, drag and drop it in. We have to change the direction of this. So I will go to the corner of the picture, there, I will press command on my keyboard and uh, by that I can now rotate it. Uh, by selecting also command shift we will get uh, angles. So there is 90 degrees or 270 and I will release. So we will have to scale up this picture and my presentation will be about, in this presentation maybe three slides so I want the highlight to be on the actual logic board with all the components that's good enough now I will also lower the opacity of this picture so it don't take too much focus out of my presentation and the text that I want to add later on so I go to format style and opacity I will lower that to 60 all done now I will also select so it's behind it's the last layer so i go to arrange and then move to the back to highlight these texts a bit a little bit better i will also add a shape a basic shape a square i will select style and uh, choose maybe dark gray color with a frame now we will have to arrange the layers, so we will move it backwards, back, back. We can also position this to the center by selecting and shift select and move. I will also add the page numbers. Uh, I think uh, this will be about four slides, so I will import some shapes and scale it down a bit, just dragging on, on the edge there and uh, drag it in so you get the, the size that you want. Uh, duplicate that, command C, command V and make four of them. Shift select, command C, command V, like so. This is our first page. These, these three I will lower the opacity of those. Perhaps there. Now we are ready to add the magic move function. So I will go here to animate uh, add an effect and select magic move and after that we have to add next page if you go up to the top left of the corner right click and duplicate now we have to prepare this page I will select this one that says that this is page 2 uh, go into format and opacity the large background image I will move up and we can preview this by selecting animate and uh, press animate and select preview. That's how it looks right now. And that's the effect that we want. I will now right click, duplicate and add one more frame or one more slide. And this time when we change all this stuff will go up. I will select the second page here and watch preview and see how it looks. Now we also have to scroll the background, our background image. I believe that is good. And of course we will highlight our page viewer here. 
uh, format opacity 100%. I will go to page number two again and uh, we can add, or a matter of fact, I will go to this page, the last page and add a simple, simple shape. When the transi transition is ready, this is what I want it to look like. You can also make a few design changes to add frames, use colors, shadows, whatever is suited for your presentation. Now I will copy these, all these four squares, Command C. I will move back to page number two now and paste those. And I will move those out of the way. We can check uh, animate and preview. Oh, and now I will add last frame. Duplicate, move these out of the way on our last frame. Add another shape and also highlight, highlight our last page preview. Okay, I think we're ready to see the results. Uh, I think I forgot one thing, to move up our background. Now let's watch everything. That's how we can do a scrolling effect in Keynote. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.